In this video, we will be discussing equilibrium supply and demand, and how to find equilibrium price and quantity when given a quantity supplied and quantity demanded function. Here we have a problem where we're given the following supply and demand functions, and we want to find the equilibrium price and quantity. And we have a quantity demanded function of 750 minus 15p, and a quantity supplied function of 350 plus 5p. So since we're at equilibrium, we know that the quantity demanded function intersects with the quantity supplied function. So in order to find our equilibrium price and quantity, we would set quantity demanded equal to quantity supplied. And by doing this, we would have 750 minus 15p equals 350 plus 5p. Now if we were to subtract both sides by 350, as well as add 15p to both sides, we would get 400 equals 20p. And if we were to divide both sides by 20, our p ends up equaling 20. So in equilibrium, the price we would set is $20. Now in order to find our quantity, we could plug our price into our quantity supplied or quantity demanded function. I'm going to go with the quantity supplied function. So what we have is 350 plus 5 times p, which we know is now 20. And if I were to plug that all into a calculator, we would get a quantity supplied of 450. Next up, we have another problem where they ask us to find the equilibrium price and quantity when given a supply and demand function. However, we're given price functions now with P equals negative quantity demanded plus 24 and P equals 5 times the quantity supplied minus 35. Since we're still in equilibrium, we know that quantity supplied equals quantity demanded. So if that equality holds, then the prices must be equal as well. So what we can do is we can set negative 2 times the quantity demanded plus 24 equals 5 times the quantity supplied minus 35. And since quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal in equilibrium, we could treat them as the same variable. So they are considered like terms. So what we can do is we can add 2QD to both sides and then add 35 to both sides. And what we're left with is 7 times our equilibrium quantity, which I'll denote by just Q, is equal to 59. And if I were to divide both sides by 7, we get an equilibrium quantity of 8.43. So this is the quantity supplied and quantity demanded by the market. Now that we know our quantity, we can find our price, and we can plug our quantity into either of the two price functions. So I'm going to choose the quantity demanded one. So we have price equals negative 2 times the quantity, which is 8.43, and then plus 24. And if I were to plug this all into a calculator, I would get a final price of 7.14. So what they would do is they would charge $7.14 for this good, and they would produce 8.43 units of it for the entire market. Next up, we're asked to find the equilibrium price and quantity again, given the following supply and demand functions. And we're given a quantity demanded function of quantity demanded plus 12p equals 65, and a quantity supplied function of quantity supplied minus 6p equals 43. So the equality of quantity demanded equaling quantity supplied at equilibrium still holds, but we would need to solve for one of the variables first. So we can solve for the Q's. So starting with the first equation, 
the quantity demanded function. I can subtract 12p from both sides and then that gives me a quantity demanded function of QD equals 65 minus 12p. I can do the same thing to the quantity supplied function which was quantity supplied minus 6p equals 43 and I can add 6p to both sides and that will give me quantity supplied equals 43 plus 6p. I can now set them equal to each other so I have 65 minus 12p equals 43 plus 6p and so I can subtract 43 from both sides as well as add 12p to both sides and that will give me 22 equals 18p and if I divide both sides by 18 I will get a price of 1.22 now I can choose either function to plug my price into to find our equilibrium quantity I'm going to go with the quantity supplied function so quantity supplied equals 43 plus 6 times p and p is that 1.22 and so if I plug that all into a calculator quantity supplied equals 50.32 and so we have found our equilibrium price and quantity they would charge a dollar and 22 cents and make 50.32 units of each good for the market to meet demand that will conclude this video on equilibrium supply and demand.